Uh, in the United States, uh, we hear this all the time, and I tell people, first of all, there wasn't any confiscation. It was a nationalization. They requested that American citizens bring gold and silver, or gold, into any member branch of the Federal Reserve System and turn it over, and they were fully reimbursed. They were, they were paid out cash for their gold. That's not confiscating. But unscrupulous dealers will try to scare people into a high profit margin item like a, trading, a leverage trading account or a, uh, a uh, collector coin uh, that, where the dealer is making a whole bunch of money off it by uh, saying, oh, don't you want to buy non-confiscatable gold? There is no such thing. Anything can be confiscated by any government, basically. For they can, you know, in the United States, they passed the Patriot Act. Now they can confiscate your life. They can put you in jail and not charge you with anything until the day you die. Uh, but because more than half the currency, the dollars, reside outside the United States, if Obama today said, we're going, to conf we're going to nationalize gold again, so all American citizens have to turn it in, don't you think all the brokerage houses down here would go, oh my god, there's something wrong with the dollar. I better sell my dollars and buy gold. And what would happen, the day he signed that legislation, uh, the dollar would just go into the dumpster and gold would take off and just go to the moon and you'd see these amazing prices. And they have to know that they would get the exact opposite results uh, if, than, than they're trying to achieve. So the U.S. cannot, I mean, other countries could, uh, but the U.S. cannot confiscate gold this time. The last time it was the foundation of the monetary system. This time it's a completely separate, separately traded commodity. And the only instance in which they would confiscate that I can think of is during the midst of a hyperinflation. <clears throat> there comes a point in the hyperinflation where gold and silver become lethal to the currency. When people won't take the currency and they ask for gold and silver, at that point the currency is going to die within a couple of weeks. And uh, so at that point, in a hyperinflation, all, all trade would stop worldwide it's being done in dollars. People aren't going to deliver an oil tanker to the United States of oil because they're not going to, by the time they get back to fill it up again, the value is gone. So all international trade would stop. Uh, in the midst of a hyperinflation, it's possible. But the wealth transfer has already occurred. You've, gained, you've made your big gains by then, so it's just your signal it's time to sell. That's all. <laughs>